Right, hello everybody, welcome to the uh, Champions Cup Final, season 30-something. <laughs> 31, I think? No, 30, I think this is season 35. 30. I've got a feeling. Thank you, Calcium. Calcium is here in the uh, in the booth with me. Hello, Calcium. Good afternoon. Uh, Calcium has looked at the teams. I haven't yet, so I'm going to be having my first look at them now with you guys. We've got a couple of strength up Chaos Dwarf blockers for, for uh, Christopher. Christopher with uh, Chaffs versus Polar Opposite with Necro. Polar Opposite has a wizard, which could be crucial. Polar Opposite has 12 players. Christopher has 13, so Christopher's got a bit of an advantage there. Dirty player for Cruz. A claw pommer. Three, two other claw mighties. And as they're two strength fours. It's, pretty, it's a pretty sweet team, actually, for Christopher. Both bludge, uh, not, not bludge, block, break, tackle, tackle, guard, bulls. So, yeah, not unspectacular bulls, but nice. Uh, Polar Opposite has a strength up white. A strength up mighty blow wolf, which is incredible, isn't it? I, lo I love those. They're yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And another mighty blow wolf, uh, a pom, a pom white, some guards. So he's got a decent team as well. well. Only 12 men though, I think that could be a bit of a weakness. Only 12 men, but he does have the wizard. What do you think, Calcium? Uh, yeah, I, I think that zombies are perfect against Chorfs. Um, and I, I, I'm a bit disappointed he's only got 12 players. Um, I couldn't tell how many players he had because of his team setup. No one could tell anything about his team on his team page. Okay, because it was all over the friggin' place. But uh, <laughs> um, the fact that he hasn't... If he had another zombie or two here, I'd really fancy him to do the job here. But I think you're right, Jim. I think numbers may play a part here. Um, but nonetheless, those werewolves... Uh, the werewolves and the whites, along with those um, flesh golems that are great support pieces, it's a pretty terrifying team, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. He, he, he obviously had to go down to 12 to get the wizard, didn't he, with the, f the fair player rules, I'm, I'm assuming. Because uh, Necro have usually got enough money to get as many players as they want. So I imagine yeah. I imagine he's he's cut to get the wizard. and uh, Which is which is totally fair, isn't it? And the, yeah, the it's not even huge. a bold strategy. It's a good thing to do, isn't it? You know, it's, It doesn't fall under bold strategy, Cotton, does it? No, no. Uh, <laughs> um, the reason to swim is that he's using not using the sure hands is because he this this poor little shithead hobgoblin <laughs> is wizard bait, so he'll be uh, he'll be lightning bolted, and then you know if he if he gets killed, it doesn't matter because the, he's got yeah. the sure hands to recover. Glorious. Afterwards. No, I won't that give the in until I'm victorious, <laughs> and I will defend. Thank you very I much, Patrick. <laughs> Face cam or I quit. I, I never have the face cam on while commentating. Uh, calcium's the same. So yeah, it's disrespectful, isn't it? Um, you, if you're if you're commentating on someone else's game, then keep your face out of it. Um, <laughs> and the focus is on the guys playing the game. Yeah, that, that's what I tend to think as well. Yeah. Because when you're as attractive as me and Jim, yeah, and then frankly, it's yeah. very easy to get distracted. Can you we know, say cunt? Yeah. By the sheer beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can twice up. Now you can see it. Thank you. But um, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, God, could you imagine? Could you imagine if you had me and Calcium on at the same time? That would just be outrageous, wouldn't it? Seriously, you know, we've all been in lockdown. Haven't you masturbated enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, what we could do is just have my face on half the screen and Calcium's face on half the screen and a tiny little square for the game. That would be acceptable, actually. I wondered where you was going with that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Look, he's done the polar opposite. Despite being the final, has done the absolutely standard CCL shithead move of I'm going to blitz with my with my wolf and then dodge away anyway <laughs> thanks to the frenzy deserved why, is he dodging, why is he dodging into Crucifer's half yeah you know, where, where, where a hobgoblin DP is why didn't he dodge backwards for god's yep. sake <laughs> outrageous so hopefully there's a good foul here and his guy gets killed and we can and all live over, happily ever after yeah one of these <laughs> werewolves go and you know, you're in deep shit aren't you yeah, this could, this can, I mean, because he can foul while protecting the ball, which is, which is ideal, isn't it? Also, basing, you know, um, what can never go bad when you start basing Claw Mighties? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, I hate this first turn. This polar opposite, you know, I was expecting big things. Um, yeah. Well, I, I guess, I guess his idea point, was to, uh, you know, base up and, and you know, hope for a devastating wizard next turn. I guess. So I guess he's what. What Christopher's got to yeah. think about now is minimizing the impact of the wizard next turn. I do think he has to foul that wolf, though. 
So Ooh, that's going to be a bit yeah. interesting. So that one sticks. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> McNaughton. Ding. Got one. <laughs> I've got a What's ding getting... right here on commentary with me. <laughs> <laughs> ding. Fucking sunk. I love sunk. I love sunk. <laughs> Yeah, this is the thing because he he want he wants to blitz this guy with mighty blow, and it's, which means he needs the which he needs the uh, you know he needed to bring in an assist for anyway, which means he's gonna have somebody next to there to foul the wolf as well. So like he really encouraged the foul here, which now this is a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> you know, sort of foul bait. Um, <laughs> I don't like it, but it's a thing, isn't it? So, mm. says me. You know, I'm I'm one of the biggest foulers in Blood Bowl you'll ever meet. <laughs> um, you know, we all learned off the daddy, didn't we, Paul Hicks? So, uh, but yeah, yeah Paul Hicks, I, I, legend. Oh my god, he's up there with Studman Dubro, and he he really is. He really is. Yeah. I mean, I like yeah. these two bases. You know, this is a no skill against strength four mighty blow. This is a claw mighty, but he can't get the assists in it to to do anything. So these two bases were good, and and this one isn't bad because he he had to deal with yeah. them and everything. But yeah. um, you know, so if he'd made that dodge and he he could have put more pressure on for a big wizard turn, but I think it was you know maybe a bit too aggressive, especially as he bit early, bit early for a wizard. Um, you like to position your team a little bit more for um, you know turn two wizard yeah, yeah. I mean he, also, he knows he's on a clock with a claw mighty in the claw palm isn't he so yeah yeah. I, I can, and he's only got 30 men I can see I can see the logic behind it even if I don't agree with it I don't think it's like awful or anything I don't think it's completely terribly awful like like some things I've seen in my life <laughs> the thing that one of the things that polar opposite did badly in his first turn was um he, he didn't position i i guess is he keeping that other werewolf as a safety of some description he might have been um, moving him around if uh if the other wolf had you know not failed his dodge but um what i, I like bulls like i like my wolves like i like my bulls <laughs> <laughs> which is which is to say um, you don't want them together do you because then you've got less coverage like I think you want more coverage from your wolves and your bulls kind of thing so if you've got one forward you want one back and yeah, one yeah I get that yeah and stuff like that you know being an being an experienced necromantic coach I obviously know exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> well all teams are the same once you once you can two dice ball. Jimmy are you a part yeah, of the Resico group with no toes I've got no idea what that means Mr. Yemen Den but thanks for the bits Aryan <laughs> 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 moist yeah I mean you could you could think of anything there couldn't you moist is such a good word isn't it it's a multi-purpose word <laughs> moist and the more you say it the better it gets <laughs> moist oh lord <laughs> anyway <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> by the way, chaps, if you like wrestling and you like being entertained, then I've got a link for you. Moist, 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 <laughs> moist, 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 moist. And even if you don't like wrestling, but you like being entertained and you like wacky, wonderful characters, <clears throat> um, there is... <laughs> there is a link to get in the Jimmy Fantastic Wrestling uh, Association, whatever the fuck it is. GF I'm so I'm so going to get in on that, Jimmy. Um, I'm going to get Retro, my number two son, to download WWE <laughs> 2K19. Um, I'm, 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 I need a piece of that because that would. Do you know what it'd be? It would be quite nice to play a game that you just want to have fun in. You know, yeah. uh, when you don't care if you win or lose. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to watch the VOD yesterday for my stream. I had a fucking nuclear meltdown, mate. I had, <laughs> honestly. Now, my meltdowns are pretty nuclear anyway, but this one, I, I was, yeah. 
the the guy diced me off a uh, Kislev, right? And you know I I got a, such a massive problem with Kislev anyway. He diced me off the fucking planet, and he decided to do a no reroll leap to score on turn sixteen to mug me <laughs> off. I went fucking batshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing, Carson. We're just letting we're just letting the wrestling play itself, which is brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, in that case, happy days. That's even better. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. It's I incredible. Games I don't have to play. <laughs> you don't even have to play. No, we just create you and then let it run. That's that's the best thing about it, you know. Oh, no one has to amazing. do anything. I amazing. don't even have to play it, and I'm the one fucking streaming it. <laughs> one dice oh, blitz yeah. there, classic, classic uh, Necro CCL play. <laughs> um, to to think about the game for a second. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's 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 sort of regained a bit of shape here hasn't he, he he's has, a bit yes. heavy on he's a bit heavy over on the right but that's nothing that he can't recover in a turn yeah now now cal uh not calcium calcium doesn't even think about anything crucifer has to think about how he can get on top of this situation <laughs> now doesn't he harsh but fair <laughs> <laughs> he probably does want to keep fouling the wolf like it's such value isn't it it's like this is yeah. an absolute yeah. game winning player somebody would say peace but not me this is an absolute game-winning player. It's unreal. Like that's a perfect wolf, apart from his legend skill. I think it's the psychological damage of taking out a key player like this, isn't it? Your heart sinks a little bit, and it does affect your game. I don't care who you are, how much blood bowl you've played. When your best player gets taken out, it's horrendous. It does weird things to your game. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, Lean Gareth. Oh, Gareth, thank you very much. Um, I'm young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> and to Mr. Yemendem, and uh, I think, I think Lean Gary said, yeah, a special risk of failing the co falling to COVID because of my toe situation. No, my toes are fine, but um, I am on medication which uh, suppresses my immune system. So I am somewhat at risk. That was an obvious chain, wasn't it? To to get yeah. control of the uh, strength 4 guy very nice and that frees up his claw pom to do a blitz somewhere maybe the fleshy here um yeah he's can't quite make a 2d on that other werewolf which he'd love to do he would love to yeah his choice is to blitz this fleshy or to like well either fleshy i think or the or the dirty player there, there dirty is player zombie. Choices, um, yeah pretty much. dirty player zombie for me the thing is, the dirty player zombie is connected to the strength four claw. Who can just punch him next? He's locked down. Yeah. Okay. Scratch that. Yeah. Kill the, <laughs> kill the flesh golem. <laughs> so he could go for this flesh golem to protect um, the claw mighty, or he could go the other side. I think going the other side looks better, doesn't it? Um, and then abandon this side, and that lets him fell the wolf again. So I think, I think pushing over the left side, getting down this fleshy, and getting yeah. a, another yeah. big foul. Lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> well as nice as that flesh on the right as nice as that flesh he is sort of um basing that claw mighty he's also out of this drive isn't yeah he? that's the thing it, 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 like you've got he's to a think man polar opposite needs the fleshy more than crucifer needs the blocker yeah. i think yeah absolutely so, so i absolutely. think that's a nice little one-on-one -on -one <laughs> for crucifer yeah yeah it was a good play you know basing Base in a strength free claw mighty with a strength four control piece, yeah, good idea. But it's sort of inadvertently backfired on him a little bit. Cruz yeah. of moving that player in first, I think I would have done the blitz first as well. I guess the blitz could have been a quad skull, so that's fair enough. But I think I would have uh, seen what it was, and then with it being a nothing, then move him in after it was a nothing. He has got to worry about this wolf a little bit, this wolf back here. <laughs> yeah. Could, could come round and hit the ball. He obviously doesn't really want to assist with the ball carrier of the foul in case the foul fails. Oh, yeah, he goes foul. For the foul. It's a big foul. Right, it's a gym so foul. now, um, I, I don't know if I would have fouled there because he's opened up a sack attempt on the ball carrier here. Yeah, it's, it was a it was a rough it was a rough thing to do really because he has. Yeah, I was before he did it, he beat me to it. I was about to say him this foul carries risk because he's leaving open this side. You know, this white's movement seven. It's on a rookie hobo without block. Yeah. Um, I can I can see value in trying to go for the sack here. Yeah. Also, this this 
this fleshy can knock this guy down and then the uh, goo can come around as well. So he's like yeah. under threat from yeah. both wings. Yeah, I think that was um, <laughs> that was a mistake from Crucifer there. It's easy for us to say. Do you know what? This game's the easiest game in the world when you're watching. And, uh... <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you're watching. I would, I would have maybe thought about assisting with the ball carrier just to, yeah, yeah, just for additional protection. Yeah. So, but then yeah. there's the wizard as well. Then you might, you know, open yourself up to the wizard. So at the moment, he could have just fireballed um, the the bull. The uh, ball carrier hub goblin like that doesn't have the ball. Um, both bulls, in fact, the ball carrier hub and a claw pommer. So like that's absolute value we'd have got there, and that would have, you know, could have potentially opened up the field for the sack easier as yeah. well. So I wouldn't have even hated the wizard then. That's how like, and that's just with it not being any positional advantage at all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he's he's not doing that. Uh, I, I, I can see why. Yeah, he doesn't have to go for the ball, but I no, think it was. Uh, really. I think it was definitely a possibility. Get yourself on the spreadsheet, then, KLZ, and get yourself in involved in J double JFW. <laughs> Calcium wouldn't foul. I think, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh I, I probably let's be fair I probably would have fouled um, I might have taken the lower odds foul, uh, foul and not leave or, or you know retreated my ball carrier a little bit um, I would have been mindful of because generally people I play are the kind of people that would take the one the one D blitz with the dodge <laughs> succeed kill my player and I'm fucked <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. It's um, <laughs> it's it's inter It was interesting weird how to do that foul because the the option was there to just to f assist with the ball carrier as well. But then of course, then you open yourself a bigger to the fireball, and then the option was to run the carrier back. The option was to not foul, uh, but it's just so too tempting, isn't it? That that was totally unpunished. That werewolf. You know, he double won the yeah. dodge, so he, he spunked a reroll on it. Hasn't needed another reroll yet. He didn't get his armor broken on the failed dodge, and he's been fouled twice. And he's actually removed a guy with the fouls. Outrageous. So he's just tagging the ball. Ah, basing. What's ever gone wrong with basing? <laughs> that basing, all it does is give is give uh, Crucifer an assist to his claw on blitz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally all it does. Instant blitz. He's four squares away. He didn't even he didn't even tag from behind to make it a GFI. So this is just it's a straight just, it's up just a, It's horrible, him. isn't it? It's a horrible thing to do. Yep. He should have just consolidated his position on the LOS. Um and instead he's gifted arguably his third best player after the two werewolves. <laughs> yeah. Arguably, yeah. You know, I, you can only go so long in a game giving Crucifer free shots at your best players before you get properly punished for it. Yeah, that's, I don't, I don't like that. Also, now that poor opposite's down to eleven men max for the rest of the game, his two dirty players don't seem such good value, do they? Unless he gets yeah, a I, ref. I, I don't even know if I'd run with a wizard. I understand the value of having a wizard, um, but I would have been tempted to run with a bribe. I think. Yeah. yeah, he could have had another player in a bribe, couldn't he? That might have yeah, been better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deeper bench, bribe, um, and then just go DP crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> you heard it here first. Calcium wants to go DP crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. I would have definitely piled Shawnee. I would have piled 100%. Because yeah, you get into the there, and it sticks. Look at that. That, that is a massive blow. I wouldn't have thought about it for a second. I would have instantly piled it. Ding, got one. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> you need to get the Apollo from Rocky Three. you know, at the end when they have the secret match. And he goes, do you want to ring the bell? And he goes... Ding, ding. <laughs> you got to get that SFX. Yeah. I'm going to get that SFX. Yeah, that's exactly right? what I thought of as well. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll sort that. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> he can just run back. He can just run back. He, he's got he's got four guys here to protect the ball, as well as the ball. But then I would also want to foul. So, 
just now he can't foul anymore. He just literally got nobody to foul anymore. Fucking no, foul the I'm... ball carrier. Fuck it, let's go. Ball carrier <laughs> foul. That's what I say. And don't tell me you wouldn't do it, Calcium. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> honestly, honestly, just cage up the wolf and then ball carry a foul. I'd totally do it. I, I genuinely would. I just genuinely, I'm not even memeing. Because, um... The problem is the payoff, the potential payoff to it succeeding is huge, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and, 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 <clears throat> and not doing it, the punishment is huge because this guy is just going to tear your team to shreds, isn't he? Yeah. He's yeah, so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like honestly, this this player just wins the game on his own, straight up. He's so good. <laughs> Stud man in the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Being compared to Stud man is probably one of the biggest compliments you can ever get in Blood Bowl, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? <gasps> <laughs> he had a short run on fumble, but by God, did he leave an impression? Holy shit! <laughs> what a legend! What a legend! <laughs> Oh, excellent! They got the clip, the ding ding! Ding ding. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, fucking, that is the one. Oh, well done. Right, I'll go to work on that. I'll get that SFX up in no time. <laughs> <coughs> Brilliant. Thank you, Gilliam. That is amazing. Well, I'll, now, I don't like committing to this punch. Um, this is a movement three fleshy. I was I was told. Yeah, I did not like committing anybody else to him. I would have left him one on one. He can yeah. power me yeah. fair enough, and I would just now he's got three people in a five ball position. I, won't I, I don't hit the five ball at all. I'm victorious. At all, I don't I hit the five ball. Do you know what? If you I get lucky defend. and it's a good five ball. Yep. Glorious. Yeah. Yeah. Ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> So good, so good. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible, right? I need to get the uh, get, need to get the stream bollocks up now. <laughs> <laughs> I never use the stream manager. I'm so used to you know using uh, using stream. I never use the stream manager. I'm so used to you oh, know. Oh God, using, I haven't uh, used myself. Fuck me. I'm so used to Streamlabs chatbot as probably yeah, you that's are. What I use. Yeah. yeah. And now you've got to use Stream Manager if you see all the uh, to see all the things. I'm going to thank everyone who plays Nos in real life and just beat them to within an um, inch of their fucking life. and clear one of these balls, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would honestly, I would think I would have gone for Fireball there because fireball there. any yeah, 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 any knockdown is just huge. Um, well, even taking one of those balls out um, would have been enough, wouldn't it? Yeah. So to, to work the ball carrier, even if you didn't get the ball carrier, it would have been enough. Yeah, that's the thing. You've you've got you you've got eighty three percent to get the ball carrier. If you hit if you hit three players, you've got eighty seven and a half percent to do something. And obviously, yeah. you could do you could knock over two, and then then you're laughing. Uh, thank you very much, Twice Hop, for gifting the the sub to Gilliam. That is that is well deserved for the ding ding. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. So now, um, dare I say, I think both coaches have played a little bit crap here. Um, they both they both made mistakes. I guess final, you know, you you can um, you can sort of forgive them, for you know, because I've played in a final myself and my ass was going, and I, I don't know why because it's just a fucking another game of blood bowl, but my ass was going, and it um, and it really did affect the way I played. Unfortunately, it was against fucking Bernie, but anyway, you know, I you know, I got nothing but love for Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> moving on um, but moving yeah, on so... um, Senor Alaska the, the wolf wouldn't be hit when it was on the floor so it would, it would have been fine to fireball and I'm not saying I don't, I'm not saying the bolt was bad Shawnee um, I just would have considered the fireball maybe he did consider the fireball you know and he has got he has got it is there's a lot of pressure on and what I didn't like from from Christopher was this putting three guys on the fleshy because they, they this opened him up you know Shawnee was saying he couldn't pile on because it was it opens up the ball well if he'd had two more players to protect the ball it wouldn't have opened up so much would it but yeah, yeah. that was a stupid it was a stupid move wasn't it because flesh golems don't score <laughs> and oh oh look at this lots of pressure but another one in nine killed <laughs> Yes, that should have happened to the strength 4 one. 
Well, he's oh, had some dear. horrible luck, to be fair. Crucifer, oh. you lucky, lucky, lucky bastard. Ding, got one. <laughs> ding, <laughs> ding. Ding, <laughs> ding. Um, yeah, like, although he got away with his dodge and the and the ensuing fouls, he has not got away with anything else. His, his pommer that got hit by Claw Pom was cast and failed regen. His other wolf who dodged <laughs> failed, <laughs> failed regen. And even the zombies failed regen. So now he's up to nine men for max for the rest of the match. So, yeah. Um, so take out the ghoul. Um, well, the good thing about co committing to the... <laughs> the good thing about committing to the... Uh, fleshy is that at least he's got chances to to free up the, the hobgoblin that's that's stuck on the yeah, fleshy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which he shouldn't have stuck on the fleshy. Yeah. <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> yeah, and look, the fleshy's doing what fleshies do best: being annoying bastards with their worthless stand firm skill. And I don't care what anyone else thinks about stand firm; it sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I, I understand that we, we had this earlier, and Shawnee generally, Shawnee is a little bit right when it comes to um, Blood Bowl strategy until he comes to play and then he just plays like a twat, you know. But um, yeah, I, I get the value of Stand Firm, it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clearly, Stand Firm is getting no value. So, what, for does, he, him what does he here? do now? Um, has he got to dodge this hobo out? I think he needs to take out this ghoul. Yeah, he he, want, he wanted to blitz him, but he he didn't free up, he didn't free up his own players that he stuck on the fleshy for no reason. <laughs> that was the problem, right? Actually, he can, he can break tackle with the other ball centaur. Yeah. So he's going to break tackle with the other ball centaur to take out this ghoul, and he yeah, is, yeah. is just as effective. Mighty yeah, blow and tackle play. on him. This is the play, hundred percent, hundred percent. And he's, plus, he's got his mighty blow tackle ball, which he likes. He does like that, Christopher. And I'm not saying it's wrong, but he does he does he does go mighty blow you know early on. On balls and I don't like it, but I mean it does give you something, obviously, especially when he hasn't rolled a dodge. Like if he if he got a double at any point, I think he's definitely better with blodge, uh, blodge break tackle tackle guard. But um, yeah. obviously with him not rolling a double, the mighty blow now becomes really good because he's getting this ex like the mobile blitzers aren't they with tackle strength four no assist needed. They, like they are good blitzing players and having oh yeah ball absolutely their, their, their sheer mobility you yeah. know. Um... God, just imagine if they had access to mutations. Oh my god, no. <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> Disgusting. Do, now, does he yeah. do the one D here to hope for a power? Or does he just go straight up dodge? I think he goes straight up dodge because it gives him the best chances to just get away. Yeah, I would have straight up dodged there. Yeah, because um, he would have been away now, right? You're just rolling more dice, just rolling more dice. Yeah, he would have been away if he if he just done the dodge there. Oh. Gets it anyway. Yeah. This uh, this stunned hob is still doing quite a, his dead body is doing quite a good job actually. Yeah, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he can free up the strength for wolf easily here. So, Christopher yeah. is uh, is living on borrowed time. <laughs> Polar opposite must be thinking to himself, I'm I'm due a decent friggin' roll somewhere here, and I, you know, yeah, he hasn't had, he hasn't had great dice, has he? No, he hasn't. No. I mean, it, 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 he's very lucky to still have his strength four on the pitch. Yeah. But um, yeah. aside from that, he's had no luck at all. And even then, he still failed a one in nine, you know. So eight times out of nine, his wolf would have, would have been claw on yeah. rather than failing a dodge. But still. Um, yeah, and you say he's lucky to have his wolf on the pitch. Yeah, his wolf should have gone the same way as his white, shouldn't it? Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. So. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is re... Oh, <laughs> he's top <laughs> That's super unlucky because he could have uh, he could have um, he could have blocked the uh, bull with the zombie, and then got yeah. the guard in to make it two into two with the wolf. But now he's probably going to have to block with a white, um, and blitz. Ah, oh, he's going to have to. Oh, I could use him as the assist anyway. No, it's all right. He could have. Uh, he can use the. Okay, he's not doing that. No, I, I was wrong anyway. There, he could have totally just. Um, oh, that was risky, but. Sort of had to do it. No, no, I think he could. He could have definitely just. I know he's gonna. He's gonna run. He's gonna run around to the left, and he. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then recover the werewolf. Yeah, oh, look at that. Yeah. Dice have failed him. Dice have failed him. <laughs> he's no. He, he's used his last reroll on the double skulls, hasn't he? So yeah, he's. Uh, yikes. 
I do think he's it was bad, better. He's in bad to, shape uh, now, and he, he's in bad shape for the rest of this half. No re rolls. Men down. He's in bad shape. Yeah, I definitely think it was better to block with the to block the ball with the white, and then blitz with the wolf though, and then you've got yeah, because you're going two D into one D, aren't you? Uh, at, at worst, you're going two D into one. Yeah, because you could have pushed him. Uh, oh no, because he's got two guards on the. Was it two? Oh, did he, he could have pushed the scope. Oh, I don't know, him. just roll casual quads in a wow. turn. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think it was better to, to engineer a wolf, like, you know, move, move, yeah. better put, yeah. you would get a better push direction on the ball and then you could move the, the zombie round somehow, but, don't know, it's hard to think about now. <laughs> but yeah, that was, he, got, he had some bad dice there, didn't he? Two dub skulls in the same turn. Yeah, yeah, that was a really bad turn. He's not rolling well, but even then, yeah, it's getting it's getting hard for Christopher. He's got three turns left, though. He just needs to. He should he should break away this turn. I think, though, Christopher. I think he can he can make it pretty much easy this turn. He can get up. He can get up around these um, the chorf blockers, the free chorf blockers on the LOS, can't he? So yeah. easy now. Yeah. yeah, he's in a fine shape to take. We just got to worry about the the wolf. Really needs to knock down here with the. Uh, the hit from the bull centaur gets it. Hello, Marcel, Marcel, McDaniel's. <laughs> Tato needs to be launched. Horrific piling on if you're showing me. Fantastic. Yeah, but it's piling. not really much of a potato, is it? Especially if you deal with this werewolf, it's not a potato at all. No, no, not um, really. It, you know, so saying it's a potato is is just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that stun on the on the flesh is actually incredible because now he gets to move right next to him, and he's not yeah. gonna, he's not going to be able to do anything to yeah. him. Yeah, he's under no threat at all now, is yeah, he? Brilliant. <clears throat> it's going great not having to play Blood Bowl, I tell you. I played my last Rebel game this morning. I wasn't looking forward to it because I was up against a significantly better Chorf team. <laughs> so, oh or, and I needed a draw to get into the challenges. Or as Artemis Black, uh, he came into the stream and he's going, oh, you've made the special cup then. <laughs> but, thankfully, I got through without any damage. So, uh, yeah, I can't keep my... I can't keep my blockers alive on my team. Nice. Well um, done, Calcium. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I actually employed the gym strategy, the gym manoeuvre. Um, second half, I was 1-0 up at half time and I only needed the draw, so I just hid. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Why would I want to put my players at risk, you yeah, know, against Claw Mighty and Claw Absolutely Pong. correct. <clears throat> Oh my god, right, it's, oh, it's, it's over, done. isn't it? It's pretty much yeah. over now. This this yeah. one can run down, he can block him, and all he's got to do is blitz the him. He was probably too far away anyway. The only play he should have done there was hit with a with a wolf. That was the only way he was going to possibly do anything. Um, yeah. I didn't like that blitz that he made. I think he had to go for the 4-3 for the wolf into a 1-D and hope. For, and I know it puts you, you know, I know it's crap odds. But you've already you've already pretty much lost, right? <laughs> this half's gone as bad as it could. He's gone. <laughs> he's had three cars. All of them have stuck. He's he's wizards do, you know used up and failed. He's he's absolutely screwed. I think he had to just go balls to the wall and go for the four three one dice and just hope you know hope to do. I something. think I think the wizard was a mistake. Um, I, I as I said earlier, I'd have preferred a bribe. Given given the structure of his team, I would have preferred a deeper bench, and then you can then you can just put zombies onto these chorf blockers, you know, let them absorb hits uh, along with the flesh golems. But again, it's, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if we, we'd we'd be crowing about how good everything was if he'd made those dodges, if he'd made that one in nine, sacked the ball carrier, picked up the ball, you know, would have been like, yeah, it was a great play. So yeah, and that's the thing. It's like. It's it's six and two threes, like because obviously the wizard hasn't worked out for him, but it did it did make Crucifer think about protecting the ball and everything for the first few turns rather than just yeah. teeing off. But then of course having a thirteen players and a and a bribe, 
including two dirty players, also makes Christopher think about protecting his his players rather than protecting the ball. Yeah. So it does yeah. it does still impact the way Christopher plays the half. So um, he's like his offensive drive. So I, I don't hate the bribe, but like I, I think it's closer. I think a player and a bribe versus a wizard is closer than it ever normally would be. <laughs> I'd always Absolutely. go for the wizard normally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is a very rare occasion where I think a bri I would have actually considered a bribe and a player over a wizard. Um, six and two freeze is the British version. Um, to be fair, I haven't heard it. I've heard it occasionally, not as much as six one half dozen and the other. Um, <laughs> so maybe it is a you know a little bit of a gym spin. <laughs> on this. It's maybe it's a northern thing. Six and two three. Yeah, yeah. It could well be a northern thing, can it? <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, BZL. The, the, the halves play out differently depending on whether there's a wizard or a bribe. So just because the halves played out one way, you can't really say the other way would have been better. But then similarly, it could have worked out badly or well the other way, couldn't it? So it just is what it is. <clears throat> I don't think, yeah, I don't think Polar Opposite played horribly that half. There was a couple of questionable moves, you know, exposing his wolf on turn one <laughs> to a gang foul. <laughs> um, and then exposing his white, which he did get punished for. Um, they were certainly questionable, but he hasn't played horribly, but I don't care who you are. If you roll dice like that, you're going to struggle. Um, oh, yeah. His, his dice have been absolutely ruinous. Like, yeah, there's, there's, yeah. it wouldn't have mattered how well he played, really. And he could have still, he could have still maybe gone one and looked right with the wizard. So, yeah. you know, to be And the fair, irony is, um, Crucifer's dice haven't been amazing. You know, he hasn't yeah. been removing every hit. Um, so... You know, he, he can't even say, yeah, I've been diced by my opponent. No, you've been diced by Nuffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can't even shout at your opponent going, oh, you lucky bastard. Actually, it's your dice, mate. <laughs> You're rolling your own doom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that always makes me chuckle. You know, when you're playing someone and... Uh, you know, they fail a dodge and kill themselves, and then they type, you lucky bastard. Hang on a minute. <laughs> My hand ain't even on the dice, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's like my game against Sage. He wasn't really lucky, right? Because he was just making cars. I was just unlucky that my cars were then deaths. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you were rolling well, just at the wrong point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the only time you don't want to roll friggin' sixes. Oh, it was, it, that game, honestly, I... I had a minute silence following that game for your team. I tell you, it was just horrendous. I hated it. You know, you know I'm your boy, all right? And uh, I want you to, you know, I like Sage, right? Sage is a really nice guy, but I wanted you to murder him. I wanted you to make him remember your name, yeah? Say the safe word. Broccoli, broccoli! You know, but... <laughs> do you know what I mean? And Sage sort of turned the tables, strapped you up in one of those harnesses and went to town, didn't he? <laughs> The Count of Monte Fisto on you. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking did, yeah. <laughs> What's my name, Jim? What's my name? <laughs> Sage, Sage, Sage. <laughs> the Count of Monte Fisto. Holy shit, what an image. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, sorry, I, I sort of went off a bit there, didn't I? It was half time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Nicholson, yeah, this is the doing, season yeah? 30 final, yeah. What are you doing? yeah it, was the previous oh. season. it was the season 30 final. Now it's the Crucifer is just going to murder this team to death show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, if I've spoiled anyone's enjoyment of broccoli, I I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, a safe word should be the only time anyone utters the word broccoli, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's why it's such a good choice for a safe word. You're never going to say it by mistake. <laughs> oh dear! Three words. I just honestly, Shut up. but yeah, that game was um, it was painful, but. Fortunately, you quickly forget about it. You, it's like an accident that you just forget about it and move on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's not the it's not the end of the world, is it? It was, you know, like at the end of the day, my team, after playing those amount of games, now it just looks like a normal team kind of thing. It was just, it was so good, 
and it all happened in one game. That was what made it so horrible, wasn't it? My team was so yeah. amazing, and then it just got so fucked in one game. But it doesn't matter. It's just a game, isn't it? This is nice maximizing blocks with a chain. Very nice. Yeah. Bad that he's got a hit without block, but there you go. At least he's got two dirty players for his eight man team. <laughs> oh, nine. Nine. He literally needed to remove the entire L LOS here to have a chance, didn't he? Pretty much, um, yeah. Oh, he's not maximising blocks. I mean, I guess that's safety and more chance of a uh, more chance of a knockdown. But oh no, he is. Yeah, sorry, I've been stupid there. Of course, he is. Three, <laughs> three uh, D on this on this chalk blocker. Yeah, I think, I think he will. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. He could have he could have blocked and then he could have blitzed. He could have done another shithead werewolf blitz, but he's not gonna do a shithead where a shithead werewolf blitz. He's gonna do uh, he's gonna do that. But he's set up to do a shithead werewolf blitz, was I think he should have, yeah. you know, set up to blitz with a strength for um white. Yeah. And yeah. And then hit on the LOS with a wolf. Yeah, might mighty blow is a thing, isn't it? It does work yeah. without claw. <laughs> yeah, and it means you don't have to follow up and then make a one in nine dodge away. Yeah. <laughs> if you commit a reroll to it. Is he going to foul a stunned armor nine thick skull player? That's the question. He's certainly thinking about it. And you know, normally you'd say that's a terrible, 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 terrible decision. However, <laughs> he's already so far behind that he's just got to roll the dice and uh, and yeah, get absolutely. back into it. So, I'm, there I'm, we go. There we go. Yeah, I think that was a good. I think that was a good shout there. Even though on the face yeah. of it, it's a horrible foul. I think it's contextually it's the correct decision. Yeah, for sure. He's all in now, isn't he? He's all yeah. in. He's got a bad hand. He's got to go all in. Shit or bust time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and an industrial fisting machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that needs to be your finisher. <laughs> A death roller instead of spikes on the death roller wheel, you have giant bendy dildos on it, and as it rotates, you get slapped in the face with them. I don't know why I thought of that. Oh hello, oh, oh. Instead of a chainsaw, you could have the weapon from uh, fucking just till dawn. Another, another region for. Ding, got one. <laughs> fucking hell, my god. Oh my god. So. Again, um, my apologies to anyone, um, any regulars in Jimmy's stream that has the kind of Im imagery they wouldn't normally have <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, he's failed every single region. I mean, not that the region matters so much on that particular case, does it? Because it's the second half when he's already lost pretty much. But um, yeah. it's still, still, what a fucking horrible game. Horrible game for uh, Paul Normally Lewis. it's quite the opposite in it with with regen capable teams. They're just regening all over the place and just doing your head in. Yeah. Funnily, funnily enough, their look has been polar opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a shit choice of name. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. You need to change your name, mate, to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to win this or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't call yourself polar opposite, <laughs> honestly. No, yes. Sorry, Sean. It would have mattered had he not failed the other three and had he not you know, used his wizard and be down to eight men already. It would have mattered. Yeah, it would have mattered had the game not been gone. But now oh, it doesn't cool matter because now it's over. Thank you. I'll have a watch of that. <laughs> I'll have a watch of that later. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, balls. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm at my best when I just go on rants, honestly. I just, I just, you know, go into like this sort of conversation monologue of nonsense. Um, and whatever falls into my head falls out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Complete with spreadsheets, you know. <laughs> Because we are we are spreadsheet boys, aren't we? We are of an era of spreadsheets. I I know you had the conversation about spreadsheets the other day. I was watching, and uh, you know you can't beat a good spreadsheet. Yeah, I do. I do love spreadsheets <laughs> and spreadsheets. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man! Flip me. Oh yeah, the troll pile on G5. That'd be incredible. From head to map, just like Sage and Jim. Oh, it's too soon. It's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> too soon, Squirrel Dude. <laughs> the video that just have you seen the video that just Joe made? The flashbacks one, Calcium. No, I haven't. Oh, it's so good. I'll put it on. I'll, I'll link it in the chat here for everybody. Yeah, do it. Yeah, put it in your chat. Yeah. It's fucking incredible. It's so good. There you go. That's uh, that was made by Just Joe, and it's <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh, superb! I'll have a watch of that. <laughs> Your face in the first second. <laughs> I just want to hug you. <laughs> It's all right, Jim. It's all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it paused. I'll, I'll watch it at the end. But I've literally got it paused on the first second. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you look so sad in my life. <laughs> you, need, you need the sound on as well because the mute. Oh, look at that brilliant result. Yeah. Um, badly hurt as well. Oh, he got sent off for it for oh, overtime. My God. I'm not sure I would have done there, honestly, because at this point I'd think I'm going to win, and uh, I wouldn't app all that because I would, uh, I would just be thinking about the the next round. No, oh, there's not a next round. It's the final. No, I, I would have absolutely appoed that. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're thinking there's it's a next the round and there isn't. I forgot it was <laughs> this the team's final. Dead, whether they win or lose, appo all day. <laughs> yeah, obviously you appo it. Sorry, if it had been the semi-final, I wouldn't have appoed it. Of course, in the final, it's an instant appo. You, your talk of broccoli and fucking Count of Monte Fisto, an industrial <laughs> fisting machine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dildo spike death rollers has got me off. Count of Monte Fisto, that's from, here. again, that's, a, that's my second Rocky reference of this stream. I, I knew it was um, a Rocky reference, I didn't want to say yeah. anything, but I knew it was a Rocky reference, yeah. It was, yeah. It was Apollo Creed, wasn't it, when they were reading out his, yeah, uh, his, yeah. nick, his long list of nicknames in the Coming to America <laughs> entrance. <laughs> and I always thought that was it was great that it was such a rude nickname. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's become a rude nickname. I, I, it sort of developed its own, you know, uh, like many other phrases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, don't, I, I know which league because it's got Champion Cup written on, the, on, on OBS there. So I know it. I know it's Champions Cup. <laughs> <laughs> it is a French ogre and vampire, yes, I enjoy the French commentary. Hello, Kixos, although you may be taller than calcium, but hello anyway. Um, no, I wouldn't save the apple for a kill, no, I was just literally thinking it, it wasn't the final. <laughs> oh, dear me. We knew what you meant, we knew what you went. We're all players, Jim, we're all players. <laughs> Talking yeah. about players, polar opposite is... What's commonly known as fucked. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can I can see putting in the two the two the two balls to force the wolf dodge, but the thing is, I still would have liked to have, keep one back, you know. I well, they got break tackle, so it doesn't matter, does it? Um, I still think it does, though. I like I like them to be apart because if you if you think right, if one was stood on the uh, on the center square, I know the logo isn't centered, but if if you imagine that cyanide programmers could do their actual fucking job. Um, and imagine it was centred. <laughs> oh if my god, a... how offensive is that logo? I've never <laughs> noticed that. That's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> if you had a guy there, he's just straight in, isn't he? And now yeah. he, he could yeah. have um, he could have screened somehow, right? Like, potentially, he could have made a million rolls. Like, you could have made loads of dodges, GFIs, everything, and he could have made some kind of screen. And if well, you had a guy a, back there, a... he could have run around he's... and hit him. Yeah. Four plus with his zombie to create a screen. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> Four plus and a GFI or two. Oh, we decided not. Oh, see, I would have gone for the zombie dodge there. Um, because this ghoul's wide open. Yeah. I mean, it's a GFI though to hit, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. It's a dodge or a GFI, so a GFI, you've got your feet. GFI, yeah, he's been back in the middle. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not a GFI. So if he double wants this GFI. Yeah. Then um, he's going to be fucked because of not having one back. 
yeah, he's still going to have to score in the next turn or two, and then Crucifer's just going to roll over him. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, like, I know it's, I know it's not that crucial, but I still would have done it just to, uh, just to make sure I had the guy. But... <laughs> the cool is going to the town of Monty Fisto. <laughs> yeah, he was always going to free him up, but it's, it's just still a GFI, isn't that's the thing. Yeah, he could have done. He could have had a bit of a screen. He's like he's managed to not get any screen. I would have rolled any dice to get some kind of screen there. Um, yeah. If I was polar opposite. But again, I mean, he probably he's probably tilted now and probably doesn't care that much. And he, he makes the GFI. You know, like it's not it's not surprising that he makes the GFI. But still, if he had been back deep, he would have been slightly better off. That's all I was trying to get at. <laughs> It's not a horrible scatter, is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> he's, oh, he's still in big trouble, but he has possibilities here. Yeah, not many. <laughs> no, that's right. They're all low odds. No, no yeah. shit odds, aren't they? Best chance is just shouting broccoli at the top of his voice. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there, haven't we? Where we hope our opponent actually stops. <laughs> they yeah. don't. Just type broccoli in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I'm going to so do that next time I'm getting fucked on. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the concede is a good shot, actually, Wayne Ferrer, because if you concede, you get banned for two seasons in the final. So. Win win. Yeah, win win. <laughs> Lose win. <laughs> I'm actually When's due another remote, remote as well, coming? so, uh, yeah, that, yeah. Yes! Fucking broccoli! <laughs> <laughs> broccoli It's a bit of a standing joke between me and my mates, you know, um, the whole broccoli thing, so it's, uh, it's not something I just picked up out of my head, you know, um, <laughs> we've all got that one mate called Dave, right? We've all got a mate called Dave, haven't we? And generally, they're bellends, right? <laughs> Not because he's called Dave, but a little bit because he's called Dave, right? He's just, he's just a bell end, okay? I love him. He's my best mate. He was the best man at my wedding, right? And I love him like a brother. But fuck me, is he a bell end, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, dark throw. Look at that. Someone's beating us to it. Someone's beating us to it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, but, no. but yeah, so, and we, we say to him, we... we just went to Amsterdam um, for his 50th. It was his 50th. And we were talking about getting him raped by a dwarf, you know, as you do, because that's what British <laughs> mates do, you know? And, uh, and you know, the broccoli is his safe word. Um, so I didn't just make it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, everybody knows a Dave, don't they? Everyone knows a Dave. I do know a Dave, and he's a bit of a knobhead, yeah. <laughs> <It's>, honestly. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, though, you could have said any name, any name, and if yeah, I knew one, he'd be yeah. a bit of a knobhead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <coughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Fucking broccoli. <laughs> Dave is my father-in-law. Yeah, insta bellend. <laughs> <laughs> you can get this uh, this zombie in now, can't you? And get a bit, get a bit, yeah. and then he's got these two. He's got the wolf and the uh, what's it called? White to either blitz or dodge and stuff. You can do things. Okay, so shut up, more. cunt. How oh, he got pill because he did that block blitz. first. Yeah, no, that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so I can't, even... I couldn't do it anymore. I thought he was gonna dodge. <laughs> yeah, need... dodge first, dodge, <laughs> then two D that hobo to get round there, wasn't yeah. it? That that was the play. I think with those dice, um, no, he'd have made the dodge, but he would have dub scold the first block. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, e either you either you blitz with the wolf first when you've got a one D into a two D, or yeah, you uh. Yeah. 
you know, yeah, and then and then that gives you a two D on right the there, ball yeah. potentially, or you you or you do a dodge. That was yeah, yeah. He's probably tilted. To, to be dog. fair, I mean, to yeah. be fair to him, he's probably fucking pissed off as we all would be. He's taken four cars and failed all of the regens. He's made two, about what two fouls and got sent off. Yeah. His wizard. He, he had a decent shot at stealing and it failed. And it's just you know everything's gone wrong for him. So can't blame the lad for being a bit pissed off. Six weeks of grinding, yeah, trawling your way sure. through the playoffs for this. Enjoy yeah, still two critical <laughs> one in nine dodges. Yeah. <laughs> I think Crucifer's had the better dice for sure, Kilmatronic. So whether he's diced him or not. Maybe. No, Crucifer hasn't diced him at all, Kilmatronics. I mean, he's diced himself. <laughs> it's, it's not been Crucifer's dice that's the problem. Crucifer hasn't diced him off the planet. It's just that um, Polar Opposite has rolled absolute dog shit. So, you know, uh, there's, no, there's no other word for it. Um, you know, four out of four regen fails, that's bad news, isn't it? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Industrial fisting machine. Broccoli! <laughs> <laughs> Six weeks of grinder. <laughs> oh, incredible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's this? What's that a few? Oh, Fuck let's have a look. Broccoli. <laughs> No, a world without Dave, a mint chocolate stout. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit harsh, isn't it? You know, Dave's may be knobheads, but we love him, you know. <laughs> Do you know what, to swim, I was actually thinking that. The next uh, the next Chorf team I create, or the next the next team I create, I'm so calling a player industrial fisting machine. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> um, brilliant. It would make a good team name, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. That's... That's industrial fisting machine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think my, my next my next chaos warrior is gonna be called broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Amazing. <laughs> okay now. IFM in it, that's it, and, just, and then we'll know what it is. <laughs> Industrial <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Crucifer is jerking it right now. Um, I don't think he minds, does he? Because uh, Crucifer's inside, deep inside the ass. I don't know if Polar Opposite is. The ass is the organisation, as you can tell by the name on his. Uh, the tag on his name, the ass. Organisation that uh, Yakiste runs. He's got a website, um, which I could link if I knew what it was. Give me a minute and I'll uh, I'll link it. It's like BB Esports or something. I'll, I'll link Yak's website because people might be interested in in it, might and then he is he is like you know trying to uh, you know do good work for the community with it, isn't he? So. Links to the ass. Here we go. <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, he hasn't pinned the links to the ass. That's not a great idea from him. Uh, here's the website. Right. There's, there's the ass. There's Yak's ass. Um, as you can see, the uh, the artwork on the site is done by yours truly. Glorious. <laughs> but... You know, it's uh, it's 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 a good initiative. You know, well, I don't know if it's good. It's an initiative by Yak, and it's it's certainly well intentioned to to try and you know get people uh, you know, involved in that. So check that out if you're interested in supporting. Um, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? To be fair. The amount of effort he's put into it, the amount of man hours he must have put into it. Um, yeah. It, it, it's yeah, fair play to him. You know, yeah. um, especially after. The sponsorship was pulled which had nothing to do with the industrial cheating wing that was exposed by somebody <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah so um and and he see he strikes me i know him and artemis had a bit of a thing earlier in the year or late last year didn't they and yeah is, um but he seems always always seemed like a good guy to me hey 
Yeah. People fall out, don't they? People fall out, you have a bit of a beef, and then what you do is you forget about it and laugh about it down the road, you know? It's one of them, isn't it? Yeah. So... Yeah, poor officer's got a shot at the ball here, but um, again, it's not. You know, that's going to be expected, right? He's still got some good players on the field. Two good players on the field. <laughs> but um, I still don't think it's going to be enough. Well, that helps, because he's got a four-plus with dodge in now. Yep. So or that helps just, a lot. Or he could just punch with the air. He could punch with the ghoul as well as an option. I guess he's not going to, but he might do. No, you want the ghoul for ball recovery, don't you? You're going to have to... I, I would four-plus in with the werewolf, 2D. Um, the hobo between the bull centaurs and hope for a decent scour, you know, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could. Obviously, that's the slightly riskier, more payoff, isn't it? Actually, he doesn't have to four plus in, he can three plus dodge in. Uh, three plus dodge in parallel yep. to the prone chorf. Yep, three plus in, yep. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Bosco. <laughs> anyway, so. So that's the ass anyway. So I think, I don't think Paul are opposite. Oh, he just did the 4 plus C bit of tilt. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Paul, I don't think Paul are opposite in the ass. So I think Christopher's guaranteed, you know, his share. They have prize money. So I think Christopher's guaranteed his share of the money, whatever the result is. So um, I don't think Christopher's too bothered about the... Uh, so he makes that block anyway now. Uh, that was the thing. If he, wa if he wasn't going to get a good scat, he was going to make that block anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. Whereas if, he had, if he'd uh, if he'd done that block first, he doesn't have to dodge in. And if he gets a good scat uh, for the wolf, he can dodge out and uh, run away that way. So, I, you know, it wasn't necessarily better or worse to do that block first. It was just depends on where the scatter goes. It gives you different options. He, he okay, does so get that's some a really good turn there, by doesn't Polo, wasn't it? Um, the... That, that was quite nice as well. Oh, I'll tell you what, he's he's finally had a good turn with regard to armor breaks and yeah. dice in general. And he, he sort of needed this a little bit more through the most of the game. You know, it's all a bit late now, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, not too late. I mean, he could. He oh, could shit, Jim, a chuff just got minged. How much impact do you think that will have on Crucifier's next game? <laughs> exactly twice up. He'll be regretting upping that badly hurt now, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking relentless, isn't it? Honestly, it's absolutely. Re you you make the slightest mistake in your stream, and I don't know about you, but I you know I got a bunch of cunts that watch me, uh, I, and they will piss all over me the moment I drop a bollock. Honestly, uh, yeah. drop a bollock. Seriously. <laughs> Uh, it's just relentless. <laughs> they they learn from your they learn from your chat. They learn from the best. <laughs> oh dear. There is a vague shot, yeah. I mean, I don't think he's got much chance in overtime. Um, but I guess he's only he's only a man down, right? But I mean, oh no, he's two men down. Um, is there an argument to say that Crucifer's made hard work of this? Yeah, given, there certainly given the is. But I mean, to, but this is the wolf, though. The wolf is a fucking terror. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, this is Paul Robertson's drive, right? <laughs> I don't like saying, oh, there's a chance for him. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Paul Robertson's drive. This is to me, there's a chance of him getting the ball back on his own drive. <laughs> there's a chance for equalising, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he can, he can uh, I mean, this is a pretty good chance. He can get the guard in and he can blitz this. Push yeah, the other yeah, I was about away, to say, just drop that run. guard in. Yeah. He's not He's not going to do that. He's going to go kind of worse play, I think. Oh, I, don't, I wouldn't have scattered there. I might have gone for the four plus. No, I would... It, and that's the, why the, you didn't go for the friggin' scatter. <laughs> no, no, the, the play for sure, the play for sure, without any doubt, was putting the, uh, was putting the white in there. Running yeah. up, blitzing the blitzing the ball, chaining the other bull away, then picking the ball up with either the ghoul or the wolf, and yeah. and fucking off. He can feel really aggrieved there, okay? Because that was what uh, six plus for the catch. Five. No, plus. I don't think he can feel aggrieved because he just did the wrong play. Okay, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> I was being. Look at me trying to be nice for a minute, and you pissing all over it. <laughs> <laughs> it was unlucky, but it was also wrong. Yeah, it was the wrong play. You're right. Yeah. Again. 
tilt, you know. <laughs> God, stop being so nice, honestly. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> You're nothing but a op- suboptimal shitter. <laughs> <laughs> it was unlucky, but it was also wrong, so... Yeah, it know. was wrong, yeah. Um, Fucking... <laughs> not a yeah. Given those dice he just rolled, it was a four, 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 six. Yeah, the four plus pickup would have looked really good in hindsight, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Because yeah. that—that's just what you want to hear, isn't it? When when shit like that goes down, that's just what you want to hear. Well, if you'd done it this way, you would have been better. Than like, yeah. yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> was it a five plus? Uh, not if you took uh, uh, one of these bull centaurs, rat and bull, rat and blood. But again, ifs, ands, whatevers. Yeah. No. No, no, for sure. For, look, you can. You, what you could. What you do is, you've got a bull there, right? You've got a. You've got. You had two bulls here, and yeah. you had the white was like here, so the white could have run around, the ghoul could have run around, and the wolf goes one square, hits him, chains out. Two squares, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now he's over here, and he's got the ball, and he's yep. probably yep. cast a bull, a bull. I think that was definitely the right play, but he was still unlucky, and he's probably tilted and everything. And... Yeah, he can he can leave this game thinking, you know, he's had a rough end of the dice, and he, there's no question about that. Yeah. Um, fucking blood bone it. We all moan about the dice in a dice game. It's just so hypocritical of every last one of us. And it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we will continue to do that. Yeah. <sighs> Three wins with chores, yeah. How many, how many um, Champions Leagues has Crucifer won? This will be his third. I, I was going to say, is he swing. turning into like the Beyond Borg of CCL? Yeah, a little bit, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be fair, look, there's no doubt that Paul Opposite had the worst dice. No, no doubt at all. He had double skulls twice on the same turn. He had all these guys cast and, and failed. This came from a one in nine fail. The, he one in nine with the wolf to get fouled a couple of times that could have obviously died as well. He's, he's had some horrible, horrible dice. The yeah. six plus on the catch as well, you know. Okay, maybe he didn't need a scatter. Maybe he could have done a different blitz, but whatever. He's ha- he has had loads and loads and loads of horrible bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, pro elves, I think. Uh, Volps, Crucifer has not really made any mistakes, from what I can remember. Um, uh, there's, you know, so that he's played. Solid, more than well. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, you you don't get a chance to play well if you're in a dominant position, do you? In, in a dominant position, no. you only get the chance to like make slight slight fuck ups, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't you just like. Got, you just gotta not play shit, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've just gotta not leave something dumb on, which you know people notice if you leave something dumb on. Yeah. And like people here, pe- what people tend to do in this situation is say, "Oh, he's left a three plus to two D the ball," but. You can't not really, do you know what I mean? Like he's got he's got this dude here. It's, this is an absolute terror, the werewolf. So um, yeah. Yeah. you know you can't you can't protect against everything anyway. Um, so uh, um, zombie to GFI and assist on the hobo. Um, maybe dodge the white out to get a two D on the bull centaur, and then just do some serious bullshit with the. Ghoul? <laughs> yeah, it's you no, know, it's anyone. Just, good. just looking at it off the top of my head, you know. Um, it's, yeah. Um, you don't have to subscribe. What, what? No, you can do all the sound effects. There's a cooldown, uh, Marcel McDaniel's. There's a cooldown on the SFX. These, these are all of them, and there's a cooldown, but you know, you can use any of them. Cool. Like that. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. Okay. Three words. <laughs> Shut up, cunt. <laughs> Oh. Oh, 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 I play on Xbox. Game oh, on. 
<laughs> this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Still, there's not really one. Well, two, he's, he's got to do three, the. He's four. so he's got to hand off with the ghoul. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he has to. Yeah, pick yeah, up. Yeah. Dodge um, without dodge. Pick it's three no plus well. it involves, isn't it? Three positive. plus. Then uh, you've four got plus with short hands. Up. Stop bitching like a little baby. Then three plus. And then four better, plus. Okay? Yeah. No, oh, easy. Look at that. Fucking easy. <laughs> fucking easy. <He's> <laughs> now he fails the one in the sake. No, that would End be so hard. End the fucking hard, turn, it? man. No, he's done it. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. All the dance. <laughs> Do you know what? When you're Kobayashi Maru in it, in this you know, are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> I wonder if Crucifer's hit his desk. I hit my desk yesterday. I properly punched. Well, when I say my desk, it's actually my Retro's open mouth behind me, right? Watching the stream. He's like, well, what do you mean you hit my desk? <laughs> Bear in mind he's six foot three and hits harder than me now. <laughs> The desk is all right. No, I properly punched it. I, I, yeah, I, I actually went desk bumping. Good job, good job. You're a weak old man now. I can't see. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, powers the, like George Foreman. Powers the last thing that goes. You know, I can still hit hard. It just takes me half hour to do it. <laughs> oh man, I need to do some training. Oh yeah. Um, you know, um, oh god. Motivating yourself. I, I'm, I'm missing my oh. martial arts training, to be honest. I'm missing it badly. And doing, you know, a load of um, martial arts clubs are doing Zoom calls and, you know, sort of online training and stuff. And it's just not the same, you know. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this lockdown finishing maybe within the next nine months or so. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember that win, but I didn't. I said it looks like a 2 0. Stop being shit. <laughs> I think it was 1 0 to Wolf. To be fair, I think it was 1 0 to Wolf Park at the time, and it was Jimmy's drive looking pretty safe, and I still called it 2 0 to Wolf <laughs> But it was 1 1 in the end, I think. That was a bit harsh. Yeah, humorous chimp, it's not the same, you know. Um, it, it, it's fine. But I, I can't really motivate myself. I'm old school. I, I need to kick and punch people. So, uh... <laughs> oh, man, fuck you, Lags. That was incredible. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if he's hardly got any players left seven. I mean, I, I feel like Crucifer should have played that better. But, you know, even then... You know, if Paul Robertson did get some good dice there, didn't he? And he does, he does have those good players. And if the, if those good players like strength or, you know, run around and do things, they can do things, can't they? Oh, rain! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, polar opposite's only chance here is to get the kick off and score in two turns somehow, isn't it? Yeah, with that with that Uber Wolf. <laughs> Cheeky 3D. Oh, another stick. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's incredible, isn't it? Five Why can't five I turn off regen like this? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> After I have a look at the regen stats at the end of this game, they'll make good viewing, won't they? Look at that. Bye, Lonnie. Ding. No. Got one. He's got no babes, as he so. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> no, I probably, you probably don't pile on there. Maybe maybe you could do, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I, no, because they regen on a 4 plus anyway, so you, you're much better off taking KO. Sorry. I'm yeah, just... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, the KO was what to take there. <clears throat> yeah, definitely take the KO. Right, so nine men. For uh, oh, calcium shit. and six for calcium, nine men for Crucifer <laughs> and six men for Paul <laughs> So could we be bearing witness to five, five upsets man. in Blood Bowl history right now? <laughs> this will be the biggest upset ever if, if he wins. Yeah, five, five versus this. nine. He's playing for the touchback. 
<laughs> I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. <laughs> no, no, this is his defense. This is his defense. <laughs> So oh, is he into, oh, oh, is it? Oh, shit. Oh, well, he's fucked then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought he was... I thought... He, yeah, I, I don't know why I thought he was receiving. Um, yeah, he's proper fucked. He's not a little bit fucked. <laughs> he's fucked, fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Al Honestly, see what I mean? Relentless. <laughs> Absolutely relentless. <laughs> and he wants to steal my wife. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Eagle eye. Oh, look, look at them, look at them, look at all the vultures <laughs> circling the carcass of my one mistake. This whole commentary stream. Honestly, you're a bunch of bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Calcium hung like an eagle. <laughs> Fucking, that was a fucking character made in a uh, double double A two K nineteen. It's okay, calcium. I also generally set up for the touchback while on defense. <laughs> there's, a, there's a character in the downloads that it was called Hung Like. I mean, what does Hung Like an Eagle even mean? <laughs> it can't mean anything good, can it? No, thank you, Joyce. So, by the way, for this. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wow. Jimmy Gladcast knows this is a necro <laughs> Yeah, I did. I, I, I don't know. I've sort of developed this inability to tell the difference between undead and necro. <laughs> Despite there being wolves on the team, I don't know what it is. Well, uh... <laughs> okay, no. He's messed up a bit here, Christopher, because he's only got two players to hit this mummy on the... On the... <laughs> Wait, that's not a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't encourage him, Jim. All right, just don't encourage him. Okay. Relentless, honestly, the bastards. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Oh, bye bye, Gaul. Oh, good the ostrich penis. That's really exciting. Why are we talking about eagle bellends? Honestly, what, what, where is this? What is this mess? I'm going to go and watch some Andy Davo stream. I say, whoa, I need some, whoa, I need some calcium. I need some wholesomeness. In whoa, my David. talk whoa. about eagle dick. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> says the industrial fisting machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, fair comment, yeah. And no, I'm not going to go. The count of Monty <laughs> fist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm banned or not. Actually, I don't think I am banned from his stream. Actually, he has um, raided me a couple of times. So, you know, although do people do that when they really hate you and they just want to make a point? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he was trying to swat you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. To be fair, I haven't got the same kind of beef you've got with him. Um, but... <laughs> Calcium just wants to join Davo as a co-caster to bring his high-quality <laughs> eagle penis. Thoughts is an upgrade ding, to Ding, ding got oh, one. Got thing, <laughs> yeah, ding. Well, ding, this game's so. uh, this game's over. Ding is so good. Yeah. Oh, he's just a cheater. Runs a lot. That's all. Doesn't. I don't want to talk about it. Cruise. Yeah, it, that's the your same Bernie, as me. isn't it? Andy Davo is your Bernie. Your personal Bernie. Yeah. Um, uh, you know. <laughs> God bless your tiny Tim. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Oh, oh, rage increasing. I'm like the mystery men. Old um, Mr. Furious. Rage intensifying. <laughs> Such a good film. Oh, McNaughton. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Did Bernie cheat live on Warhammer TV also? Uh, no, McNaughton, but he did He did join the Spanish-only league 
um, who are all friends who just know each other in Spain that, that honestly weren't cheating. <laughs> and he just happened to join this cheating ring out of sheer coincidence and then didn't get banned like the others did. I'm sure he was totally innocent, old Bernie. Definitely not a cheating piece of shit. I think Boris Johnson has hired him now because of his Teflon ability to avoid <laughs> criticism and blame. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Bernie oh, is a cheating, weaselly little cunt. Uh, Kilmatronics is the nicest way to describe him. <laughs> 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 Couldn't put it better myself. Uh oh. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. I fucking love you, Jim. I fucking love you, <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, Bernie Sanders, left-wing socialist prick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored, I'm bored. <laughs> This is anyway. going to be a pitch clear, isn't it? Nah, he's probably not. He's going to score before he pitch clears. He should pitch clear, though, just for, you know, just as a duty blood ball player, isn't it? You should always go for the pitch clear. But it's something it? you can say you did in a final, isn't it? Yeah. So... <clears throat> nah, he's just going to score. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Crucifer and his chores, eh? <laughs> Is calcium an eagle or Eddie the eagle? Fucking McNaughton because Eddie talking was shit. By There's something new, isn't it? And calcium. Well, is neither of those. <laughs> right. Well, uh. Hey, development. Yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah. Um, uh, do you know what? Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. Anyway, moving on. Let's get back to the game. Anyway, moving on. Congratulations to Crucifer, winning for the third time, equalling Ducky's record. However, Ducky did win it with different races. are not supported by the Rebel <laughs> Ducky did win it with different races, and uh, Crucifer is chuffs only, but fair enough. You know, it's still impressive to win it three times, isn't it? Whatever you say. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, good for him. And he's made loads of money out of the ass. Um, made all seven of his GFIs. And uh, meanwhile, Paul Robertson failed all five of his regens, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, and just overall, I feel like he got way worse dice. But he, he got a good block dice. But, you know, it, it is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day, you can't really criticise him. It was, uh, you know, it was what it was. Fair play to them. Congrats to both for getting the final. And thank you very much, Calcium, for the core commentary. You're more than welcome, mate, any time, and I will catch up with you very soon. Glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.